Good morning. This is Thursday, March 2nd, and today's devotion is, Have you felt the pain inflicted by the Lord? This is John 21. He said to Peter the third time, Do you love me? Have you ever felt the pain inflicted by the Lord at the very center of your being, deep down in the most sensitive area of your life? I hope so, because it began at salvation. The devil never inflicts pain there, and neither can sin nor human emotion. Nothing can cut through to that part of our being except the Word of God. That's a praise. That's a wonderful praise. Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? Yet he is awakened to the fact that at the very center of his personal life, he was devoted to Jesus by that third time. And then he began to see what Jesus' patient questioning had meant. There was not the slightest bit of doubt left in Peter's mind. He could never be deceived again. He did indeed love Jesus. And there was no need for an impassioned response by Peter. No need for immediate action or emotional display. It was a revelation to him, to Peter, to realize how much he really did love the Lord by that simple question. And with amazement, he simply said, Lord, you know all things. It is a whatever moment. Lord, you know all things. Peter began to see how very much he did love Jesus. And there was no need to say, look at that or look at this as proof of my love for you. Peter was beginning to discover within himself just how much he really did love the Lord. He discovered that his eyes were so fixed on Jesus that he saw no one else. In heaven above, on earth below, he only saw Christ. But he did not know it until the probing, hurting question of the Lord was asked. The Lord's questions always reveal the true me to myself. Oh, the wonder of the patient directness and skill of Jesus Christ with Peter and with us. Isn't that wonderful? The patient, direct skill of Jesus to pierce right where he needs to, to get us to see what it is he wants us to see. Our Lord never asks questions until the perfect time. Rarely, but probably once in each of our lives, he will back us into a corner where he will hurt us with his piercing questions. Then we'll realize, as Peter did, that we do love him more deeply than our words can ever say. The challenge I have for us today is, can we too freely say, as Peter did, Lord, you know all things. Let's pray. Father, we ask today that you would indeed, if need be, back us into a corner with those piercing questions that only you can, you can bring. And Father, you do it out of love. And Lord, as we are there in that corner, perhaps we could finally say, Lord, you know all things. And be at peace within that statement. And walk as if we do, and we do, believe that you truly do know all things. We love you, Lord, and we give you this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.